Well, it is my pleasure to introduce to you Rabia Lamort. Thank welcome, you. Welcome, sweetheart. Welcome, welcome. Thanks. Now, you've got, uh, you joined me actually on a behind the scenes program uh, several weeks ago, but we talked about a little of your background and the fact that uh, you were a young girl that grew up, what, in Queens, New York? Mm hmm. And uh, dancing was your life and your passion. Yes. And that took you where? Well, I started my career. Well, I, I saw the movie Flashdance mm -hmm. when I was young, and that was it. Mm -hmm. Went out the next day, got a big old perm, <laughs> cut all my sweatshirts, put leg warmers on every day. I was going to be a dancer. So I started training and taking classes after school. Mm. And, um, and then I, I started my career at 16. Yeah. I actually um, left school and started working professionally yeah. and doing music videos and traveling. And now that's got to be incredibly hard to, to kind of break into that, yes or no? Yeah. I mean, yeah, the entertainment industry is not easy, but yeah. I just, you know, I kind of was blessed and slid in there young, yeah. 16, started professional. Yeah. And then there was a, a rock star that probably nobody has ever heard of yes. named Prince. Prince. And, Who uh, was the artist formerly known for, as, yeah, formerly and known. now is back to Prince. He is. He's yeah. not that symbol no, thing anymore? No, he's Prince again. Okay, good. Well, anyway, but uh, Prince uh, was what starting a tour and hooked up with you and then how did that happen he had an album called diamonds and pearls okay and they were casting for a video and they wanted a set of identical twins hmm. and they looked everywhere and they could not find identical twins that they liked yeah and so they were also casting a lot of dancers so i went in for the dancer role and prince noticed me and liked me and then there was another girl that he noticed as well and we just happened to look a lot alike and okay. he thought you know what i'm going to cast those two as the twins gotcha so we went in for the first day of rehearsal, and it's the other girl and I and the choreographer, and then all of a sudden, I look in the mirror, and in the back of the room is Prince. Yeah. Standing there. Intimidating? A little bit, <laughs> with his little outfit, his suit. But not real tall. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's, 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 he's an icon. Right. So, yeah, you know, Purple Rain, and growing up with that, and then seeing Prince standing there in the right. room, and then I start, you know, doing these dance rehearsals with him. Right. So, it just, it was supposed to be one video, and then it clicked. Yeah. You know, we had this great chemistry, and he really liked us, and I think he thought of this gimmick that I'm going to name these girls Diamond and Pearl, because the album is called Diamonds and Pearls. I'm going to name these two girls Diamond and Pearl, and then we went off and did all the videos. We did all, uh, I did the album cover. I went on tour with him. Right. Now, so, were you a Christian at the time? No. or wh wh So, for you, this was uh, just a rocket to stardom then, and, and a gig that, that you were just very envious of. Yeah, I mean, it was supposed to be one music video, and it turned into two years of my life. Yeah. Book ending, yeah. Prince. So. Now, I know a lot of young, young girls would, would probably look at that and, you know, see the success that you had early on. That had to bring perfect happiness. You were totally content, totally satisfied, but not necessarily true. You know, it's great to have a wonderful career, but um, I've kind of learned over the years that having a great career does not deal with your issues. Mm -hmm. And those little issues that are in there, actually, the more successful you get, the more those issues mm -hmm. try to dominate. You can see that by so many people in the entertainment industry that have everything and have reached, you know, the pinnacle yeah. that, you know, are dealing with drug addiction and... Yeah. and uh, alcoholism and depression and there's just so many so you're telling me fame fortune money does not bring happiness it doesn't quite do it huh interesting now you went on from dancing and you 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 actually what retired from dancing at 21 22 I, I years old i retired at 22 yeah mm -hmm. yeah just you were what over the hill at I that was point over the hill. <laughs> now, you know what honestly I, I you know not to make anyone feel bad but i did not want to be doing music videos when i was 40. right you know i thought right, this is cute when i'm 19. yeah but when i'm 40 i'm not going to be you know dancing up on a go-go box somewhere <laughs> yeah and but then the lord actually allowed you and you've you've gotten you got into acting I did. I segued right into acting. I got off tour with Prince and I retired. Yeah. And uh, then I thought, you know, I'm going to do the acting thing. That feels like the next step. So I started doing commercials, started auditioning for TV shows, and then I got 90210, which was my first right. acting job. Right. And then that transition and, and, you know, a lot of people may have seen you. There was a show called what? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Yes. And that, You're you not a, a fan? Well, I, you know what? I, 
no. <laughs> I may have seen it once or twice. As a Christian, it wasn't high on my uh, priority I list. I, I was actually, I was not a Christian when I got on the show. Right. And then I became a Christian three months into the show. And that really kind of created a conflict for you then at that point. Tell me about that. How did you come to the Lord? And then what did you do to, because this show was, was very, very occultic? It was. Uh, just like the Prince job, it was only supposed to be one episode. Right. It was supposed to be one, a one-time thing. And then uh, it just turned into three years working mm -hmm. on the show. And, you know, I've always been a believer in God. I've always been a seeker. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and growing up in California, or, or as a, I, I came from New York to California, sure. but I grew up as a uh, teenager up. When you're searching for God, you know, you find a lot of the New Age movement. Right. So I was... You know, I was doing what I thought was God, but I was a little bit in the new age. Right. Because in Hollywood, people are very spiritual at uh -huh. times. They're uh -huh. just seeking all of these weird yeah. spirits all yes. over the place. I understand that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of spirits to be found yes, in Hollywood. Right. But right. the thing is that, you, you know, you have to test something. And I know this is a biblical thing, but you have to test it by the fruit. Sure. And you look at people that are so spiritual, and they're, but they, they're not happy. Right. They go marriage after marriage after marriage after right. marriage. They're still dealing. They look exactly like the world. Right. So, you know, I was doing all this stuff. I was meditating and doing all this, but I, I didn't have that peace. I was still searching. I was still looking for something. Right. right. So, Interesting. Uh, basically, I'll, I'll tell you my story. I, you know, I was praying, and I said, God, you know, I had some people talk to me about Christianity, and I was like, I don't know, born-again Christian. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about that. And... Um, so I said, all right, God, I was in my car, I was driving. <laughs> and I said, God, you know I believe in you. Mm -hmm. I don't get this whole Jesus thing. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want to be born again and mm -hmm. what I think that that means. <laughs> but if Jesus is real, then you need to show me. You need to show me a sign that makes sense to me, something that I can relate to. Right. Not my parents, not the grandpa, you know, not that generation, something that speaks to me, something that is personal to me. Right. So literally, as I'm driving, I look in front of me, and all of a sudden I realize that I'm encompassed by hell's angels <laughs> in your car I'm in my car and I've got the bikers all around me oh, no. I've got bikers in front of me I got bikers on either side <laughs> leather clad chicks on the back of the bike yeah so I'm thinking okay how ironic I'm, I'm praying to God right now and I've got the hell's angels all around me <laughs> I'm like what kind of sign is this so I look a little closer in front of me and they all have crosses on the back of their jackets oh, my and it word. says we ride for Jesus oh my word.